So this is Tony. I'm talking today with Kathy at Microsoft. Kathy, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm a technical writer on the Windows Server UA team, and I cover virtualization, um, virtual server, virtual PC, and most recently what's near and dear to my heart is Hyper-V. So we were talking a little bit about the TechNet Wiki, and you volunteered to show us uh, uh, a little scenario where you find something, and then you go fix it. I did. So because I'm a writer and maybe a wannabe editor, um, I care about how we talk about Hyper-V. And so for starters, I was on the, oops, I went to the wrong place. Let's see. Okay. Sorry, Tony. That's all right. You can just go up there to social.technet.microsoft.com. Oh, okay. Wiki. Yep. Let's go like this. So I'm going to go to social.microsoft.com. I think it's social.technet.microsoft.com. Right? Okay, good. So I'm going to put that back. And back what I want to do is I want to go to the wiki homepage. Yep, there we are. That looks familiar. I know it's out there, but I haven't had much time to look at the content that's actually been built out. My colleagues have been very busy. So today I want to find out what's out there for Hyper-V. Hey, look, cool. There's a bunch of content about Hyper-V. Boy, I'm sure there's areas where I could add a few things here and there, help folks out. One thing that's near and dear to my heart is terminology. So I'm going to take a look at this page. Cool. This looks pretty fleshed out. In fact, I'm guessing that this is something that we decided to publish externally based on some use, usage guidelines we did in-house. Uh, help our partners ha know what terms we used and why. Most of this looks really good. Aha! I see one thing down here under Virtualization Server. Cool. Tells us quickly what it is. I also see some usage, a, a, a usage phrase, something that would mean something to us internally, but to folks externally it might not make any sense. But I know how I could fix it. So if I want to fix it, I know I need to edit the page. Huh. Come back up here. Don't see any edit button. You know why? Simple process, but to edit, you got to join. We need to know just a little bit about you. Uh, we have, we're trying to really follow a wiki community spirit format where anybody can contribute, but we do have to have some basic monitoring. So to do that, you need a Windows Live ID. I've got a personal Windows Live ID. Maybe that's what you want to use. I get so much traffic on that that I've set up another ID just for my community purposes. So since that already exists, I only need to type it in. And of course, like I just said, since I'm a Hyper-V writer, I've decided to use Hyper-V writer at hotmail.com. And I've got to remember my password the right way. And if I do, I sign in. Now, I'm at a page where I can add a little bit more information about who I am. I'm and on this one, you do have to select the screen name, which can be different. This is your name that will appear on the wiki. It uh -huh. could be the same as your Hotmail username, or it could be different. Okay, and for my purposes, since I've talked a few times to customers and I'm comfortable with my giving out my my full name. I'm going to just go ahead and put Kathy Davies. The other thing that I'm going to put since I am a Microsoft employee is I'm going to uh, identify myself as from Microsoft. So one of the conventions that we use is bracket MSFT bracket. And for now, I'm going to just keep it associated. Yeah, I want it associated with my sign-in account that I just used. Site terms. You have to re-enter it there, though, and then re-enter that uh -huh. address. Okay, the fast way to do that is copy-paste, because I can do that there. Um, I've actually joined the wiki before, so I've already read the services agreement. I won't do that today, but that's something that we recommend you do, please. And then we want to know, I have don't need to do this area down here. If no. you've already done a Windows Live ID and already joined, you can associate it. Don't need to do that, so I'm going to just click Join Now. Uh-oh. What did I do wrong? Can't use the uh, brackets. The brackets. Okay. So instead, we will do a small hyphen, Microsoft, just so I have that MSFT suffix. Uh, it's going to take a minute. 
And, it's and then with that suffix out. that folks who look at the article can tell that the person who just edited it is from Microsoft. Right. Okay, so now it says I'm here, I'm signed in, I can edit my profile. I won't do that right now, um, but for all you other Microsofties, we would like your profile to designate that, yes, you are a real Microsoft employee, and the way we would do that is we would put our Microsoft email address in there, and that way someone else who is looking at our profile, who's curious about what I edited and why and who I am, could easily go to that on the wiki and say, oh, they're not trolling, they're actually a Microsoft employee. So at this point, I'm ready to go back and find that article. Now I know the fast way I did it before. So that home button that you just clicked is actually TechNet Home, not Wiki Home. Uh-huh. So let me go. Well, you can tell me, Tony. You can just go back and then use the Wiki search. Because the search here on, on TechNet is a search of TechNet, and the search box at the top of the Wiki page is a Wiki search. Oh, and this is going to take me all the way back to here. We're going to retry. Uh-oh, <laughs> didn't like my request. Come on. There you go. There we go. Just took me a minute. Now from here... Correct me if I'm wrong. That's the wiki search. That's what I thought. So the cool thing about this is it's going to constrain it, and it's doing it actively while I'm typing. It's going to constrain it only to the wiki topics. So once I'm at the home page, that's a really fast way to find yep. what else is out there, and then you can narrow down quickly. I'm going to go back to the terms page. Now that I'm here, and I'm joined in... All of a sudden, voila, I get a tab that I didn't have before. Edit tab. Click it. Fast and easy. You get a little ribbon bar that looks familiar for basic editing purposes. I see all the terms down here. I know I wanted to do a virtualization server. It's right down here. So instead of saying it's okay, it's also okay to use server running Hyper-V, I'm going to say sometimes referred to as a server running Hyper-V. And under comments, I could make something if I wanted so people know what I fixed or why. Find a fix to virtualization server. Done. Um, I'd like to know when someone else makes changes to this page, just because, like I said, Hyper-V terminology is near and dear to my heart. This little button will do that. It will send it to the Hotmail account or the Live ID account that I registered with. Click Save. Give it a minute. Let's scroll down. And let's see, under Virtualization Server, right here, there's my chains. Sometimes referred to as a server running Hyper-V. Fast and easy. If I want to go see what other people have done, I can go over to the History tab, click. So there's all the different versions, and then the comments of the versions underneath there. Yes. And if for some reason, now we recommend that you do this lightly and with good intentions and a valid purpose. If someone went in and said, diff disk is foo, not bar, and I know diff disk actually is bar, then as a good community member, it would make sense to go revert. Yeah, you just use that but, button to, to back out the change. Right. Yeah. But if it's just because you didn't like the way foo sounds, or bar sounds, <laughs> that's not the appropriate reason to make an edit. So Great. play fair, have fun, it's fast and easy. Thanks, Kathy. Appreciate You're welcome. your help. You're welcome.